Nita Naldi, born in 1894, was an American stage performer and silent film actress known for her vamp roles, a character type popularized by actress Theda Bara. She achieved fame in silent films, particularly in Paramount Pictures' Blood and Sand, 1922, alongside Rudolf Valentino, solidifying her image as a vamp that persisted throughout her career. Described as slow-eyed and darkly beautiful, Nita Naldi passed away in 1961, leaving a lasting legacy in the film industry, honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Clown Samuel Berman showcasing his tricks at a magician's convention in 1947. As a clown, Berman likely brought joy and laughter to the convention attendees, demonstrating his skills and adding a touch of humor to the gathering. In Berlin on May 1, 1945, traffic control officer Maria Shalnova played a crucial role in maintaining order during the tumultuous final days of World War II. During the 1980 Moscow Olympics, Jan Falandis and Adam Sandurski, as representatives of Poland in wrestling, participated in one of the most prestigious and challenging athletic competitions on the global stage. In the Netherlands, as in many other places around the world, the door-to-door -door milk delivery service was a common sight in the mid-20th century. During this time, milkmen would make regular rounds through residential neighborhoods, delivering fresh milk and other dairy products directly to people's homes. Johnny Weissmuller was a highly accomplished Romanian-American swimmer and actor, best known for his roles as Tarzan in films and television. James Naismith, the Canadian physical education instructor who invented basketball in 1891, is captured in a photo from 1928 playing the sport with his wife Maud. Margaret Sanger was a pioneering American birth control activist, nurse and advocate for women's reproductive rights. Born on September 14, 1879 in Corning, New York, Sanger became a prominent figure in the reproductive health movement during the early 20th century. In the 1930s, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City was already a cherished tradition, blending holiday festivities with the spectacle of giant balloons, marching bands, and ornate floats. A unique and compelling moment featuring U.S. veterans from four different wars who lived in the town of Geary, Oklahoma during the 1940s. Youngsters dancing by the jukebox in the United States in 1944. During this period, jukeboxes were popular in social spaces like diners, soda shops and dance halls, providing a source of entertainment and a soundtrack for social gatherings. Robert Wadlow, also known as the Alton Giant or the Giant of Illinois, holds the title of the tallest person in recorded history. Born on February 22, 1918 in Alton, Illinois, Robert Wadlow continued to grow throughout his life due to gigantism, a condition caused by an overactive pituitary gland. The 15-mile penny-farthing race of the Harvard Bicycle Club in 1887 is an intriguing historical snapshot capturing a moment in the early days of bicycle racing when the distinctive high-wheel bicycles, commonly known as penny farthings, were popular. On November 24, 1954, Queen Elizabeth II, Prime Minister Winston Churchill, Prince Charles and Princess Anne awaited the return of the Queen Mother from her tour of the United States and Canada at Waterloo Station. 
an East German soldier helping a little boy sneak across the Berlin Wall on the day it was erected in 1961, encapsulates the human stories and challenges brought about by the division of East and West Berlin. In the 1942 film Yankee Doodle Dandy, James Cagney and his sister Jean Cagney contribute to the cinematic magic of this musical biopic. James Cagney's portrayal of George M. Cohan earned him acclaim, showcasing his versatility as an actor, while Jean Cagney also played a role in the film, adding a familial touch to this classic production. A moment when French and American forces were reportedly engaged in conversation before a general offensive in Alsace in 1945. Piccadilly Circus in 1949, a bustling and vibrant part of London, known for its iconic neon signs, theatres and the Shaftesbury Memorial Fountain at its centre. In 1962, Sophia Loren left her handprints at Grauman's Chinese Theatre, symbolising her lasting impact on the film industry and securing her place in entertainment history. The photo captures German prisoners taken at Malteau, near Cayenne, Normandy, during the Battle of Normandy in World War II. Malteau witnessed intense fighting during this crucial military campaign. Georges Claude was a French engineer and inventor, best known for his pioneering work in the field of neon lighting and the industrial production of liquid oxygen. former King Michael I of Romania, along with his family. King Michael became the King of Romania in 1927, but abdicated in 1930. He returned to the throne during World War II, serving from 1940 to 1955. A Dust Bowl farmer digging out a fence post in Cimarron County, Oklahoma in 1936 captures a moment during one of the most challenging periods in American agricultural history. Captain George M. Ashman's notable service during World War II was recognized with the posthumous award of the Distinguished Flying Cross. This prestigious military decoration is bestowed upon members of the United States Armed Forces for acts of valor and courage during aerial flight. Plaza de Mayo Station, inaugurated on December 1, 1913, marked Buenos Aires Subway's historic start, pioneering underground transit in the Southern Hemisphere and Spanish-speaking world. Vivian Lee and Robert Taylor starred in the 1940 film Waterloo Bridge, directed by Mervyn Leroy. The film, set against the backdrop of World War I, tells a love story between a British ballerina, Lee, and an American soldier, Taylor. In 1898, a photograph portrays three children sifting sand in a gold mine on Dominion Creek, Yukon, Alaska, offering a raw perspective on the harsh realities of the Klondike Gold Rush. In 